It was never the company's intention and the images were meant to be a mark of respect for Anzac and our veterans. No further action against the company will be taken. I won't be shopping at Woolworths again. They might say that they have fresh food, but they've got bad taste. Next month, mums around the country will be thanked for their efforts on Mother's Day. But one Launceston mum has been honoured a little early. Lisa King today named Tasmania's Mother of the Year. There's no denying Lisa King is a great mum, but the 40-year-old has had anything but an easy run bringing up her boys. In 2001, she gave birth to a son with severe disabilities and was told he wouldn't live more than a few years. Noah defied the odds and lived until he was 10, but his death was extremely difficult for the family. Then, just three months later, Lisa's husband Aaron died suddenly of a heart attack, leaving the grieving mum also a widow. It's hard every single day still. Um, I still think we're grieving and we probably will for a long time. And I guess I just try to live my life to, to make them proud and try to think of that they'd want me to keep going and they wouldn't want us to give up, I guess. Lisa's friend, Reeve McLennan, has watched the Launceston mum's strength through those horrible times and couldn't think of a better candidate for Bernardo's Mother of the Year. Lisa's just been a, a mountain of inspiration. She's, you know, she's someone who's been through a lot of adversity and uh, just the way she's handled it has, uh, has inspired a lot of people. And the judges agreed. It's my great honour to announce today that it is Lisa King. The other two women that were nominated today, I think, deserved it just as much as me. So, yeah, feeling really honoured. But no one's a better judge than Lisa's three boys. Really good for her. It's a privilege to have a mother of the year for Tasmania. We all went through the very hard times and she was there. She was feeling really strong for all of us. And we, every time we had those bad days, she would be there with a smile, always ready to help us all out. Lisa and Reeve will now travel to Sydney for the announcement of the national winner on Mother's Day. Sophie Corll, Win News. Richie Benno has been farewelled with the minimum of fuss that the cricket legend had requested. His family and mates today gathered in Sydney to privately say their final goodbyes. The shock has gone. The